So you're still going for Yuri? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I've gone. I've gotten this far. After after you after you break poor little Sayori's heart. She was still laughing. <laughs> Sticky. Oh my god. Jeez. That was a quad feed. <laughs> I like crimson. Damn. Damn, indeed. Incongruent. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Pout. Marshmallow. Socks. <laughs> Pain. <laughs> Pain. <laughs> Parfait. Vanilla. Oh man, I'm oh, the last geez. one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Ah ha ha. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Of the Christ. <laughs> Remember that the club wouldn't be here today if it weren't for all of you. Yeah, I have a lot of passion of the Christ. <laughs> and I'm super happy you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Ah! Uh, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? As Tony the Tiger would say. Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, well yeah, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. <laughs> 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 but there's a whole day in school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You talk so <laughs> slow with her. <laughs> you sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, <laughs> do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people. Of no. all people? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean you of all people? <laughs> because it's right in your name. Man, Ika. Say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Yeah? Ah, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? I can't unsee that. <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> Your reaction on the phone is yours, I say it was anyways. <laughs> Excuse me. Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Oh, there you are. Sorry, sitting in the desk in the corner room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. <laughs> You're spacing out again. Ah! Uh, sorry. <laughs> Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. <laughs> uh, is everything alright? Oh, of course. <laughs> why would you? Why wouldn't it be? Like it just that? feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. <laughs> Jeez, you know what they say about assuming? <laughs> Asshole, you and me. <laughs> <laughs> you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? <laughs> Sorry, you're supposed to be a big smile. Don't let me distract you from me. I'm fun with you. Well, alright. 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 If you say so. A worriedly glance at Sari before turning back toward everyone else. The conversation already dispersed with everyone back to the usual activities. Maybe we should go ask Monica if she'd noticed anything about Sari recently. Maybe they've been preparing for the festival and must be spending a lot of time together. Timidly approached Monica who was shuffling through some papers at her desk. Nikki Pingus, what's up? <laughs> hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sari recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe we're reading into it a little too much, but she seems a little bit downcast today. 
Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at her, who's idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm not surprised I'm or, but I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Nikki Pingus. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She always talked to me about things that never bothered her. This time when I asked her she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well being of my clum of my clumbers, you know. <laughs> my clum Cool. Yeah, Maybe sorry. I'll try talking to her myself. Forgot I have to be quiet. Eh? You sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? <laughs> she seems like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? <laughs> Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying maybe the thing on her mind is you, Nikki Pingus. <gasps> Who, me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Siri talks about you more than anything else, you know? <clears throat> She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? They've used that, no way. They've used that expression like twice. Yeah. <laughs> so it's always like that. So it's been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it has been. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny, Nikki Pingus. Have you ever thought that maybe the reason you've always seen her so cheerful is because that's how she is when she's around you? <laughs> <laughs> Told you you upset her. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know, anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah! <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words <laughs> out of my head. It. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room where Sari is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sari and gently talk to her. She's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. Sighing, sit myself down. I know Sari told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh down me so much? Now it feels like I'm one behaving out of the ordinary, but there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. She looks away as quickly as frustrated, frustrated, as quickly with a <laughs> flustered look on her face. <laughs> Yuri's getting like me now. I realize she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord, so I have to—I have no choice but to approach her myself. Now it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in the one next to hers. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax. You didn't do nothing. But I could tell you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Well, with my thoughts. <laughs> I'm always with my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> have been over the past couple days. How were you even able to tell <laughs> when I was thinking like that? Well, it's something I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Not that I was staring or anything. I must have boobs too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. Sorry if I caused you any concern, baby girl. Don't apologize. <laughs> baby doll. Nah. Your troubles are the are your troubles are the only <laughs> only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you prefer to share what's on your mind, then I'd be glad to listen. Ah it's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today. When I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me, so I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh? That's quite romantic. Eh? Sorry. Eh? I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, oh, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be so dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into a little too much. Nikki Pingus. <laughs> the world is full of meaning. I've been hitting deep in beneath plain sight. And there are so many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah! So you think that there might be something behind it after all? Mm -hmm. I think that Sayori's a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside <laughs> her head, and she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today, too, and I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori. She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Ah! Aye. 
I guess. You don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious as if she was searching for something. Oh, I have an idea of what's going to happen. Would you care to share with the rest of the Three. Would you like to speak up? Good answer. <laughs> I'm embarrassed I avert my gaze. Should be after you said that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you just suggested a threesome. I barely know you. A person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. Th that is, I think that she'd be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri! You're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. So I think I'm pretty good <laughs> yeah, at understanding now, now my own feelings. you're insulting yourself. <laughs> I'm pretty simple. <laughs> I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. I'm a pretty simple guy. <laughs> ah. uh, that, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. <laughs> it is it what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we have do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah, dude. I should be taking my mind off this sure, whole bro. thing anyway. I just say yeah, dude, all the time too much anyway. Yeah, dude. Okay, everyone. We didn't even get a nice reading scene this time. After some time... Oh, sorry. <gasps> I thought I was still talking. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything's back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. Make on eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Gonna be honest, I feel like I have the least lines. Yeah. I probably. <coughs> Now's your chance to I shouldn't have it. said anything. <laughs> I just want to get this one done. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm going too fast. Honestly, I don't know what I, uh, yeah, I don't know where I get my hopes up in the first place. What I didn't think is that bad, what did I do wrong? Poems don't need to be all deep sound to express them. It's gonna just sound like you're forcing it in this uh you really don't suck at all. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're at Yuri's level. That's true, because I'm short all of a sudden. You're a simp. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't tell me. Uh -huh. You're sorry. You're not, you're not trying to impress Yuri, are you? What are you talking about? And keep your voice down. You know, Yuri loves this kind of angsty. Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean... I, 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 I mean... Ooh. Looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow struck a nerve, though what I did is beyond me. I, I'm so dumb with you. That Suki shoves the poem I handed behind it back over to me. <laughs> take, take your stupid poem. He wrote it for someone else. Just don't show it to me. Ouch. I like how you say that out loud. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Yeah, we knew it from the beginning. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. That hurt my feelings. <laughs> do, 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 do. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Nikki Pingus. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Have you thought about what you, what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well. That's where water comes from. <sighs> Being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people... I have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. Let Monica take the poem and hold it in my hands. I didn't even get to read my poem. Yeah, you got she, pissed at me. <laughs> Your style has gotten so refined, Nikki Pingus. Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Ooh. Well, <laughs> I guess so. That's where water comes from. <laughs> yeah. I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. I think I've heard her say more words in these past couple days than she's talked in the whole year. I'm not sure how you did it, but that's pretty impressive. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things right, I guess. Still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm. You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. Eh? That's... Uh, that's awfully suspicious, you know? Spending time with her in the club room every day. Reading that edgy novel with her. Sus of you. Okay. <laughs> well, I just feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. It makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know. All right, all right. I get you. Just 
Be I careful, alright? I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up. So if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. Her books are a total escape from reality. They're more like a bandage. Oh, it's a bondage book. <laughs> you say that like I'm gonna hurt her. Sorry, I didn't really mean that. It looks like if anything, she might yourself. accidentally hurt herself. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright. Alright. The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old tale tell of a lady who wanders the earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning. All purpose. And all that was ever sought. Here I am. A feather. Lost adrift in... Lost adrift the sky. Victim of the currents of the wind. Whoa. Uh, sorry. Uh, day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing that legends... Knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the tw twilight sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall. And I fall and I fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather. A dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between thumb and forefinger. The hand of the beautiful lady. I look into her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat. And I pick up a gust of wind. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. See? I really put much thought into it. <clears throat> In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we all had the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. Seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Ah, uh, are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean, one-dimensional? Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. Was that a fourth wall break? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? <laughs> it's not. Good. It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response out of something you put so much effort into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way. It'll make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's don't my advice think? for the day. Don't you think? Thanks for listening. Did I have much of a choice? <laughs> it's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, <clears throat> you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably your... Eh? I don't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making... New friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. <laughs> and you're happy too, right? Is this right? I think that's what I said. <laughs> it's in the club. <laughs> you clear I get all I see is in. Well, of course I am. Good. <laughs> that's all that matters to me. Thank you, Nikki Pingus. <laughs> Sorry. Is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired. <laughs> All right. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can <clears throat> uh, go play with everyone else now. <laughs> if you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. No. Sorry. Uh, tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? <laughs> That's robotic control. I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Harry cheerfully w walks out of the classroom and humming to herself. Probably. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't even read her poem. 
Mickey Pingus, your writing has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. Alone again. This never did come naturally to me, but I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. It, is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would be like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. can't believe that you're so good at something you've never even shared with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well... You smile sadly. Nicky Pingus, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But books are full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. You know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And, and they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Mickey Pingus. I'm the opposite. I don't know anything. I'm a know-nothing. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings, and all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you that I really understood what was missing all this time. Well, I haven't really done anything, bro. No. That's wrong. <laughs> Just being patient wrong. and respectful. Incorrect. That's really <laughs> important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Nikki Pinus. I speak too slowly. No. I second guess myself all you. the time. <laughs> That's someone else. <laughs> I read too deeply clean to things. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how, do you, how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I've had at least one success, wouldn't you? Uh, um, if you put it that way, yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands, but this time she's smiling as she does it. You want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. I didn't get to read any poems. Ghost Under the Light, Part 2. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. In the distance, the blue-green light flickers. A, to a lone figurine crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds. The silhouette growls. Closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility, but I'm too late. He steps into the streetlight. I gasp, and I drop my umbrella. The light flickers, my heart pounds. He raises his arm. Time stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in rhythm with this pounding of my heart, teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand. The flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. Fishing the poem, I start to hand it back to Yuri. But instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Do you dislike it? Ah, no, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poems being usually cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. <clears throat> I understand this one. You're just having an even harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. Not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. Hope we can keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge from Yuri's lips. I don't think you need eye contact to see a mouth. 
I once again try to hand the poem back to her. And instead, Yuri gently takes my hands and pushes them back towards me. Hesitating response for a warm touch. You can... Um... The poem <laughs> is... Once again, Yuri feels a form of complete sentence. You mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always... You always make me feel nice. I know I'm not good with people, but... I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah. She wants to make you feel nice. I can tell. <laughs> Don't worry. I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back towards me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. But I'm sure we can talk to them later. Yeah. Sure we will. That Yuri timidly smiles at me and I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Uh, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri is immune to it. Uh, isn't, excuse me. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is Yuri isn't here. Ah, seems you're right. Sigh. <laughs> Yuri always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off when she's not here. Where the heck did she run off to anyways? I thought she was just going to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Pee, 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 pee. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah! She said she wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home, or to, yeah, to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? That's where water comes from. <laughs> <laughs> so for, so much for you two being all love it, buddies. Ah, oh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh, <laughs> oh. That curious expression code for Yuri of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What'd she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I don't know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them, and different flavors. Squid. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. As for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sir will be helping me design them. <laughs> and as for Yuri... You, you can, uh, um, <laughs> guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I, I'm useless. N no, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know? Mm -hmm. N now, Natsuki's point. Oh, jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I'll never say Sayori, I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell all things are getting harder on you when <laughs> she's not around. <laughs> <laughs> that may be the case, but if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? You should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> it is Tyler, space. Yes. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk to focus not to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Nicky Pingus. <laughs> the one who is truly useless. Ah, uh -huh, don't say that. <laughs> In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. You'd probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You can always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative Ooh. of that. Ah, that's... You read that. Oh, I forget I have to do that. How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. <laughs> well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. 
Uh, it's not like Monica is going to need going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. And Suki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like I'm that. Exactly what oh. should, you should be sitting on. If I recall, that Suki. <laughs> You you mentioned that you'd like to handle the baking on your own. Nikki Pingus may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assist him with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're know, just making excuses for Nikki Pingus to, um, well. What, what are you saying? It'll be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't. Just what do you think? Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Nikki Pingus to decide how he... Give me this! Give me yeah. this! Oh, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. That's me, I'm sorry. I, I got an email. <laughs> Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Nikki Pingus, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah! Uh, of course. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. In that case... Never look straight at me. Of course, I'm gonna go oh, with... Oh, Oh. Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yay, you picked me! Uh, hold on one second. Y yeah. Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Eh? But... I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but you already have Sayori as well. But Nikki Pingus was the one who, uh... I knew what I was going to do. Uh, you were the one who, who, who scared me to uh, pick it in the first place. Uh, you're the club president, Monica. Uh, you're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you really shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Excuse me. Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. Th that's completely false, Monica. Yeah. We have a lot of work to do, you know. We, we don't do good a job here to make us work alone. Uh, maybe ah. that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If we want our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um, uh... Ah. So are you gonna do the right thing, President? Okay, okay. I get it. Huh. It's technically most log for, logical for Nikki Pingus to help out one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Do you have a preference, Nikki Pingus? Well, I'll probably be the most useful helping out Yuri. M me? Are you serious? What, what, why would you? Natsuki, I can already tell you're about to say something mean. <laughs> no, I was just saying, uh... So, you'll be helping out Yuri then, Nikki Pingus? Yeah... That's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I, I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things, so I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, you'll be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I'd be fine. Okay, okay. I don't, I don't need help. Everyone can tell that Natsuki's feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we need to sour. go over? Yeah, yeah, that should be it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited might not be the right word. Ooh. <laughs> but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Nikki Pingus? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, no. That's not what I meant at all. <laughs> Uh, uh. Spoke like true Bill Cosby. <laughs> You're anxiously glancing between everyone in the room. Uh, I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Nikki Pingus picked me. And also, <laughs> your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing I do for the event will compare to that, so, so. I can't I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um, well, I'm the one acting amateur. I already know that. Um, but, but you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. Uh, no, I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. I like how Monica's just chilling here. Listen to this. That uh, Suki isn't the only one surprised. She's Monica really staring right at are also taken aback by Yuri's words. I think it's also not Suki a bit. 
when she already has trouble with her words, trying to cheer someone up, maybe far out of her own comfort zone. I'm beginning to understand. You're always trying to sound like a Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I could tell she tried to say something. Sayori would say at the time like this, because Sayori always helps everyone smile and I feel good about themselves. No. I kind of... <laughs> that word started with an A, but I couldn't read it too fast. Anyways, I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. Um, but, but I'm going to say this. You, you better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of this whole thing. Uh, uh, I believe you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I run packs up their things and I start to follow Monica and Atsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um. Eh? Turn around. S sorry. I realize I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. Can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? Uh, I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright. Alrighty then. You're gonna exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday? Wait. You didn't give her an address. Phone number. Yeah, but we'll she's... Text about it. You just say, hey, uh, what's your house number, like I did earlier to you. My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. In the middle of my street. I just thought I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I would prefer going to your house. All right. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decided not to push you for a reason. It. <laughs> it's not like it should matter much either way. <laughs> so I'll just need to make sure my, sure my room is clean. I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. Not nearly as creative as you. Don't underestimate yourself, Nikki. I think that will make a very productive team. Even if you only choose me because you feel bad or something. Wait, since we're shortening each other's names, you... You're... <laughs> you don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense chose to help you because that's what I want to do. What? Yuri thinks for herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out what you're overthinking, right? Uh, I, I didn't realize. Telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight in my eyes for a long while. I believe you. So it took her some tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, me too. <laughs> After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. Can't believe this. Yuri's gonna be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots to the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. Ooh, more than that, she told me she was looking forward to it. Is this a chance I have to make something happen between us, or is it too early for that? Only time will tell, but until then I won't be able to take my mind off it. Seriously, can't wait.